through the 70s, I was provincial softball coach. And uh, at that time, uh, they would take an all-star team to the nationals, both in senior and junior. Probably about 1974, maybe, uh, that summer, so we sort of got on the radar for the a provincial team, a junior team, and so in 75 she made the team. She was the youngest person on the team. So under 21, she was 15, so that was quite unusual, and she was probably the best player. I remember being down in Kennecook, and uh, this was the first time I saw Sonia, and, and uh, she surprised me. She had such a quick bat. She wasn't a, a, an established hitter then as such, you know. She almost swung at anything the pitcher threw, but uh, she could hit it a mile. She had such a quick bat. To make a Nova Scotia all-star team, when there are many people trying out, you have to be a special athlete to make those teams. And maybe not always your skill, but also your attitude and your personality helps because you have to have 15 people that get along together. And Sonia, I think, could get along with anybody. When I went out to the coaching box in third base, I was just always hoping that, that Sonia was gonna be up that inning, you know. It didn't matter if it was, there were, what base the runner was on, Sonia could bring them in. She could do everything. I mean, she was a power hitter, so she was a big, strong girl but she could also bunt and she could also hit a line drive. So it was very difficult for people to defend against her because if they played her deep, she'd pop it in and if, or do a bunt. And so she was very, very good and she was smart and a very good team player. If you needed a hit and Sonya was coming up, you knew you would get that hit. So you were just hoping that she would come to bat. There was never a pitcher that she was afraid of or even thought that they could get her out, really. Not that she was, you know, she wasn't boastful or anything else like that, but she just stood in there, you throw the ball and I'll hit it, and that's what, what she did. She played um, volleyball with me, basketball. Um, I coached her in badminton and in, in track and field where she was, uh, well, she actually excelled at shot put. She was a provincial, she held a provincial title for shot put. Uh, when I was there, so she, um, but she was just a really solid, uh, strong, strong girl to start with, but she was also strong in character, and I think that's what I picked up on right away, is that I could depend on her. Everyone liked Sonia, like she didn't have to work at it, she was a quiet leader, like some people are rah-rah, Sonia wasn't a rah-rah person, she just went out and led on the field, and led quietly, uh, you know, she wasn't, didn't try to have to force herself to be part of a team. Um, she's just a very quality type person, you know, type you'd like to have as a friend. She was a team player, definitely, and would cheer everybody on, and uh, she had sort of a dry sense of humor, which, which I really liked, and uh, she was just a good team, team player and did her best day in and day out. I can't remember ever a time that you'd ever have to speak to her, you know, not to do something. Uh, she would not be if you told her to go to bed at 9, she went to bed at 9, maybe at 8.30. Uh, yeah, she was very at banquets, very polite, uh, just a great representative of our province for sure. I can picture us all being together in a huddle, you know, I've called the court, you know, the team off the court, and Sonia had the ability, in a quiet way, she never was in your face, and she wasn't like that to her fellow um, teammates either. But I think they looked to her because she, she, when she spoke, everyone listened. We have a lot of memories. Like we spent a lot of time together and mostly on the field, but those are the memories that connect each and every one of us when we meet. That's what we remember, so good memories. She has said to me in just the past three years meeting that um, the Shore Shots family was like a family. When Sonia won, the, uh, she was chosen All-Canadian. They, they pick an all-star team at the national tournament and there's usually, you know, the Maritimes very seldom get a person on a team, on, on the all-star team, and Sonia was one of the first from here. Quite an accomplishment for a 15-year-old. I mean, she was 15, and most of the kids in the teams were 18 to 20. And, uh, I mean, it was unheard of, actually. I think she was the best hitting lady that I've seen in the province 
probably one of the best in Canada. I've put her on any team I've ever seen in Canada. Sonia, uh, so proud of you. Um, you definitely deserve to be where you are right now. Um, always knew that you were a very um, well-rounded athlete. Um, your, your skill goes far beyond uh, an athletic boundary though. I don't think your skills are limited to an arena or to a ball field or to a court. Um, you've taken those to other people. All of the things that you've brought to sport, you've also brought to life and, and have passed on to other people. So I'm really, I'm really, really proud of you. You're awesome. Wow, to get into any Hall of Fame is a tremendous accomplishment. And uh, Sonia certainly is well deserving on that. And uh, I would certainly be very proud of her and anyone else who would go into a Hall of Fame, especially in softball. And it's not an easy thing. There's a lot of teams that play, a lot of people that play. So to reach her accomplishment and to be recognized by the people of her community is a really great accomplishment. Sonia, I, I want to congratulate you for being in elected to the Hall of Fame. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen you, but you were a tremendous person, a terrific ball player, and very humble, and well deserving of this accolade. Thank you very much, Sonia. Sonia, congratulations on your induction into the East Hand Sports Hall of Fame. Being a fellow team member, I know your skill level, I know your dedication to the game of fastball, and you are a much deserving person. Congratulations. 2019 East Hans Sport Hall of Fame inductee, Sonia Singer.